Hi, this is Jess from the International Center for Positive Change and Hypnosis. Today's two-minute NLP lesson is your intro to anchors. First, what are anchors? There are things in your sensory channels that are tied to specific states and behaviors. For example, songs are wonderful anchors. Maybe you hear a song and immediately feel good. Smells are another type of anchor. Just think of the smell of your grandmother bacon. Gestures and expressions are anchors as well. When someone else smiles, you know exactly what to do. Now when you think of anchors, think stimulus response. You know, Pavlov's dogs. Bell rings, lab coats walk in, dog gets hungry. In NLP, we can use anchors to create powerful resource states. We introduce a stimulus and the client feels good. To effectively anchor, you need four specific keys at work. The first key is having a pure access state. Now this is just a fancy way of saying whoever you're anchoring needs to be in a strong resource state. They aren't feeling any mixed emotions. They are totally in on this specific emotion or state. Key two, the state needs to be intense. It's not just a good feeling you kind of sort of feel. Go big or go home with your states. The anchor needs to be applied at just the right moment when your client or you is feeling this way. Think of the state as being like a roller coaster hill. It takes about 90 seconds to start at the bottom, reach the top, and then for the state to begin to dissolve. If you apply the anchor too early, then the feeling isn't strong enough. If you anchor too late, then the person's already coming down off of the emotion. Time the anchor just as the state is about to peak, hold for 5 to 10 seconds, then release as the emotion starts to subside. Key 3. Need to have a unique stimulus. The anchor needs to be something that the person doesn't experience in everyday life. A typical kinesthetic anchor, for example, might be touching a particular knuckle on a particular hand, or maybe squeezing the thumb and an index finger together. Finally, the fourth key, the anchor should be easily replicable. This means that the anchor can be fired a number of times and a predicted response occurs. So when you anchor someone, you set the anchor, you condition it through repetition, and then you test to see if the anchor has taken. To find out more, join the discussion on Facebook at NLP and Hypnosis Resource. To discover training opportunities, check us out at bestnlpnewyork.com.